Speaker, the President is keen to give me history lessons. He and I should one day sit and talk until we agree. It cannot wait until he's retired because he uses history daily in his speeches. Sunday, at the Africa Day celebrations in Mamalodi, the President said in Zulu, Africans lived in peace with each other and had fun. But then the others came, which I will not mention, rather not mention by name. It might be a joke, sir, I know, but it means the others disturb order, the peace and honorable harmony. Members, order. Sir, I'm an African. I'm an Afrikaner. I'm a South African. I'm not other. President, but you're also wrong. The question is, were there no conflicts before the others or the whites came here? Because that's what you say. Sir, for what is King, remem King Shaka remembered? He is other remembered for having a long shaft of throwing as a guy replaced with a short stabbing one. He's remembered for the military horn shaped pincer movement, if you're correct. The question is, did he use the short as a guy to make barbecues for the suit to other smaller African tribes? Did he use the horn shaped pincer movement to surround the smaller tribes to give them clothes and food and blankets? No, sir. It was used to kill and to wage war against black people. So my problem is that you are creating a wrong impression of the past, and I think it's calculated. The others of which you speak, that's my ancestors, weren't yet in the north of South Africa during these times that you're talking about. So the Constitution specifies in Section 83 what the tasks of the President are. He is, number one, head of state. He must uphold the Constitution, and then I quote, promotes the unity of the nation. Not the unity of the ANC, unity of the nation, all in South Africa. Now, I said, if the president continuously distorts history and speaks of other South Africans who came to disturb the peace and harmony, he breaches the constitution, which says he has to promote unity. And that in a country with so much conflict potential, it's a serious charge against the president, and I don't want to talk about Rwanda and those places again. What do we expect of him? When President Zuma declared Chris Hani's grave heritage site, he said, destroying statues flies in the face of the preservation of the history of the country. I agree with that. That's leadership. That's promoting unity. We want that, more of that. Sir, on 18 April this year, the Freedom Plus held a meeting where the humiliation and destruction of the graves and statues of our ancestors were discussed. I'm talking of General Fick's grave, Paul Kurgis and others. They were asked that the anger of the ancestors should not be directed at us, but that the anger and unhappiness must be directed at those who insult them and humiliate them. So I'm asking this assembly to watch the future with me. What is to happen to those in the ANC and in the EFF who encourage these acts? Sir, here are people in South Africa who want to build up rather than break down. Here are people who want to cooperate rather than to divide. Let us use this positive energy rather than the negative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.